just doing a little bit of work on the cylinder block. We've got the regulator puck here and the plate that it sits on. I'm just lapping them together with some uh, metal polish. You can see it's it's getting there. So this plate mounts in here. And then it's basically so the um, it's not bearing straight on the cast iron, then it's got a stainless steel wearing plate that won't corrode. In this video we're going to get the cylinder mounted onto the boiler. So this onto here. These holes are all threaded, ready to take the studs. So the first thing I'm going to do is run a tap through each one of the holes just to make sure it's clear and isn't going to get stuck or anything when I try to put the studs in. So it goes through nice and easy. So that one's fine. They should all be fine, it's just a precaution. Okay, so I finished cleaning all the holes. There was only a couple that had or something stuck in them, but now the tap's been run through, they should be fine. I've just taped the cylinder gasket on there, just to hold it in place. I won't leave this tape on permanently, but this is just for a test. Drop the cylinder on. We can see how we're lining up. It's looking pretty good. There are a couple of holes where the gasket doesn't line up, but the hole underneath, I think, is lined up. See there? I'll mark those and we can cut the gasket. We can just put all the studs in and then drop the cylinder on top because obviously the outer edge ones are at an angle. So if I've got one there. One there and one there. I can't just drop something straight down on that because that hole is not going to line up. So we can put the first two in See there and there. Drop the cylinder on and then go around and fill them all in as we go. So I've, you can see I've also drawn around the gasket so we fill in these areas with the um, foliac, the sealant, and then sealant on, gasket on, more sealant, cylinder on, and then we've got to put all the studs in one by one. And these will be sealed with the uh, PTFE paste as we go. So the way we time these studs up is we've got a dome nut with a ball bearing. The fact there's a ball bearing in the end means that hopefully the nut is not tight on the stud. So if we go like that, the nut comes off. It will have the ball bearing glued in there properly. Okay, I've got all the studs and nuts on now. I've got to trim all these off. We can gradually tighten these nuts more and more over the next few days as the, the block sits down and compresses the gasket. And then after that we can trim the remainder of the studs off.
So you just saw me um, craning the horn plates and axle assemblies on. So I've got all those fixed in place now. I'll put one of the spec plates on. So we have to measure. Um, there's a critical distance on the diagram that has to be measured from the front face of the cylinder to the crankshaft alignment tool when it's sitting in the bearing blocks. I've obviously taken that out now, but we've got it within a millimetre or so, which is fine for this. You can see I've got to paint that side. Well, I thought I'd do that while it's on the engine. Less chance of damaging it then. And you've got to paint all these um, bulkheads. So, as you can see, it's coming together. Okay, so the next bit I've been working on is the valve gear. So, these are the slide valves. You can see these are the ports behind. This is where the steam enters the cylinder. And that's where it enters the other end of the cylinder. And behind the valve is the exhaust where the steam comes out. So, the idea is this entire area is pressurized with live steam. The valve uncovers one of the ports, steam enters the cylinder pushes the piston up and at the same time the steam is coming out from the other end of the cylinder behind there and entering the exhaust which then on this engine this would then go down to the second cylinder but on say a single cylinder engine it would then just go straight out. I've lapped the valves against the valve surface to make sure they're all flat and so they're nice and sticky the uh, surface tension of the oil is holding them there. I've also fitted the way shaft bracket, which is this part, um, and this obviously needs to be perfectly in line with this assembly so that it all moves freely, like that. So the next part is I'm going to fit the slide bars across here, which then support the crosshead, which connects the two pistons to the connecting rod. So there we have it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And just to explain, if it's your first time watching one of my traction engine videos, this is a four inch scale barrel single crank compound traction engine supplied in kit form which I'm putting together over the course of the last couple of years so if you'd like to see how that progresses please subscribe to the channel and you'll get updates every time I post a new video. See you later! There was quite a few bits in that kit, it took me a while to tick off but it's all there as always apart from the uh, few things that were mentioned at the start.